Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this lecture, we will discuss about nose signaling pathway. It's a highly conserved cell signaling system present in most of the multicellular organisms. This pathway regulates a number of growth and developmental processes such as cell proliferation, cell differentiation, cell fate, cell death, and also maintains adult tissue homeostasis. Specifically, it's an example of juxtacurrent signaling. So that means there would be two directly interacting cells. One of these would be signal sending cell and the second would be signal responding cell. So cells would be affected through ligand and receptor crosstalk happening between two cells. One thing to be noted here, ligand on one cell always binds to the receptor on an adjacent cell. That is, ligand receptor talking would never occur on the same cell. Now, the ligand present on the signal sender is named delta and the receptor to this ligand found on the signal receiver is called notch. Both the ligand and the receptor are single spanning transmembrane proteins having three different domains. Notch signaling is a type of signaling where the signaling pathways are activated by ligand cleavage. We will discuss about this concept very shortly. First, let's know a bit about the notch receptor. Notch receptor is synthesized and processed as a monomeric transmembrane protein in the ER of receiving cell. The protein then moves to the Golgi apparatus for further editing and processing, or simply say, for its maturation. Here in the Golgi, it undergoes a proteolytic cleavage, which results in the formation of an extracellular subunit plus a cytosolic transmembrane subunit. But until ligand binding, the two subunits remain non-covalently attached to each other. Now let's forget the synthesis process of the notch protein and assume that the receptor has been delivered at the cell membrane through secretory pathway. Initially, the notch is inactive. This is because its ligand is not approachable or it can be said the ligand delta is not in the range of receptor notch since it's under inhibitory or negative regulation by the protein called NUMB. Now due to some mechanisms not discussed in this video, the NUMB is released and hence its inhibition which frees our ligand delta. The freed ligand then binds the notch receptor. Following ligand binding to receptor, the notch receptor on the responding cell experiences two additional proteolytic cleavages in a proscribed manner. Cleavage number one, it's catalyzed by ADAM10, a matrix metalloprotease. The name ADAM stands for a disintegrin and metalloprotease. Actually, a disintegrin is a conserved protein domain whose function is to bind integrins and it works by disrupting the cell matrix interaction. So, this membrane bound metalloprotease cleaves the notch receptor from here, releasing the extracellular notch segment. The released segment continues to interact with the delta surface. Following this, the delta plus the receptor extracellular domain complex is endocytosed by the ligand synthesizing cell. Now the second cleavage, it's catalyzed by an integral membrane protein called gamma secretase, which is a multi-subunit protease complex formed of individual four subunits named as PSEN1, APH1, the third PEN2, and the fourth one Nicastrin. It's a special type of protease known as intramembrane protease. That is, the enzyme that has the property of cleaving transmembrane domains of integral membrane proteins. So that means, this enzyme will make cut right here, which is a hydrophobic region of the notch receptor. The cleavage catalyzed by the secretase releases the notch cytosolic segment. The now free cytosolic domain immediately translocates into the nucleus where it influences transcription of various target genes. This was all. Thanks for watching.